Okay, we're going to make a video, and uh, in this video, I have installed uh, the CUDA drivers. So the uh, NVIDIA GTX 760 cards I have installed on my computer can run applications using CUDA. I'm going to demonstrate running a command <coughs> excuse me, uh, that can provide the topology of your video cards and show how they are connected to each other. I will also show an example from a far more robust setup and briefly discuss this more robust te uh, topology. I will also run a command uh, that will show using GPU uh, capable video card that is running on the desktop I am using. Uh, I will then copy over some sample code from the NVIDIA development toolkit and run a couple of these examples. I will produce further videos that will d demonstrate running various samples from the NVI NVIDIA Development Toolkit that you will find in a playlist along with this video. Okay, so um, the first thing that uh, we're going to do is uh, I want to show you uh, the video card that I'm running on this machine. It's not a powerful video card by any means of the, by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so I'm running a uh, GeForce GTX 760. Uh, it's a low to mid-range video card, I think, um, from NVIDIA. And um, the next thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to look at the topology of this machine in, in terms of the uh, video cards that are there. So it's the NVIDIA uh, SMI command and um, it topo means topology and dash M means matrix. And if I do that, what it will show you is that uh, I have one GPU capable device, that's that uh, GTX 760 video card. And um, so that's all there is on that. Now, here's another example of a machine uh, that I've run this command on. And this uh, machine has four uh, video cards that uh, are. Uh, that are GTX capable. I'm not GTX, that are CUDA capable. And um, so here's the four cards. Now what you'll see in here is um, if you see the initials PHB that means that the cards are connected on the PCIe bus. And um, if you see PIX that means that uh, the card is connected uh, via PIX to the other cards. So it's these, this goes across the PCIe bridge. So you'll notice uh, the very first video card is connected to card, well they call it two and three. This is the third and the fourth card. Uh, the first video card is connected to uh, uh, three and four by crossing the host bridge. Uh, it's connected to card one uh, on traversing the single PCIe switch. So this is on the same switch. Uh, GPU one is on the same switch as GPU zero. And the rest of the cards or the rest of the information reads the same way. It shows like GPU one um, is connected to uh, cards three and four. Um, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, GPU one is connected to card two across the host bridge. GPU three is connected across the host bridge. And GPU zero is connected across the uh, PCIe switch. So GPU zero and GPU one can talk to each other really fast. and um, it's a little bit slower going across um, the host
post bridge. So, anyways, that's uh, that's kind of how that works. Okay, so let's get some sample code and uh, run a sample or two. Uh, and the sample code uh, I copied under the OPT directory, and we're going to copy this into the home directory. If I do a change directory into okay, I'll do a change directory into those samples, and in here we can see a bunch of samples. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to go into the simple samples, and uh, and we'll do some of the others uh, in some following videos. Okay, so um, oops. We'll go into the simple samples, and uh, I guess the first thing we'll do the very first uh, video there. Um, so we'll do a change directory into that very first directory, and then we'll run make to execute the make file. Uh, actually, I'm going to actually delete that. One thing I forgot to do here, if I go to, um, I have a scripts directory, and in that scripts directory I have a um, an environmental setup script, so if I cat that environmental setup script, that's what the environmental setup script looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to source that file To set up the environment, and we'll go back to the um, directory <coughs> that has the uh, async API, and we'll make that, and then we'll run that program. Okay, so here it shows that um, uh, we used a GPU device uh, card to. Uh, Run the to run this program. Okay, and let's do a change directory up, and let's see if there's another one. Uh, let's try that CUDA Tensor Core Gem program. Okay, I'll run. I'll make to make the executable. ls and so we're going to run the that CUDA, CUDA tensor core gem program okay well this one's not going to let me run so um, yeah I can't run this one because my uh, GPU card isn't powerful enough so let's go up and see if we can find one more I can run uh, let's run clock Okay, so run clock. Okay, so there, that's um, what the clocks did. Okay, so anyways, that just shows that you, I can run some of the GPU programs, and uh, uh, with the NVIDIA uh, development uh, toolkit sample code. Okay, and that's all. That's all there really is on this one. Thanks for listening, and. Uh, I hope it was entertaining. Thanks. Bye.